Let's go to Proverbs chapter 3, 11 through 12. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth. Even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. So what this is saying, when God punishes you, when you are doing wrong, don't despise it. Don't hate it. Because if God is taking the time to punish you, he is showing that he loves you. And think about this. What if God would allow you to do whatever you wanted and not punish you? Would you change? Of course not. You would get more evil and evil and be sent to hell afterward. So it is a blessing to be chastised by God. Because what he could do is let you do your own thing, which you may want to do. But that would be a curse. <laughs> what I want to speak about, and I don't think I spoke about this yet. Purging process. When you come to God, Let's say that you lived your life in sin and you wanted to do everything that you wanted to do. Now you decided to come to God now. Okay. You have so many issues. We, we have to become more and more like Jesus Christ every day. So in order to get like him, what have to happen? You are not going to get to the way that he is on your own. So that tells you that God has to do something to get you to that point. God allows bad things. Please don't misunderstand what I am saying. God allows certain things in our lives, whether we like it or not, to purge out the bad qualities out of you and bring in the qualities that you need within you, like patience, love, so on and so on the fruit of the Spirit. I believe that is Galatians chapter 5, 22 through 23, I believe. I could be wrong. When you come out of sin, and when you repent of your sins, the qualities that you have within yourself is not of God yet. So in order to get you to the right point, God is going to test you so much that <laughs> it is going to irritate the mess out of you. Those bad qualities within yourself have to be purged until you become a new person. You won't even recognize yourself, myself, from back when I was in sin to what I am now, I don't even recognize myself. And that is a good thing. <laughs> a purging process must occur. Don't fight against it. God placed you in situations to change you. You have to change. Some people say, well, Kevin, I don't have to change, you know, if someone don't accept me, blah. No. 
you have to change. We all have to change. I am still changing more. I would think that I am done changing, but I am still being purged too. <laughs> and I pray that <laughs> the purging process is almost over with me. <laughs> My Lord. Everyone goes through the purging process. Some people fight it. But when you fight it, you fall right back into sin again. And some people never stop fighting it. Then they die and they go to hell afterward in some cases. Unless they repent at the right time or whatever else. You have bad qualities within yourself. You may not have enough patience. You may get angry very quickly. You may still have lust within you. You may like to argue and fuss and do all of that foolish stuff that you did back when you was in sin. A purging process must occur. It have to. It have to. And when you fight against it, you are just prone to home game. <laughs> My Lord, when you fight against the purging process, you are just prolonging it. You have to go through it. How else can you change? Well, Kevin, I can change on my own. Then why aren't you changed now? Get rid of that pride, that stubborn pride. Yes, I know someone have done you wrong back when you was younger. So you have built up this pride and you are not really willing to listen to people and your thoughts are better than everyone else. I understand that your self-esteem is low. You have to go through the purging process to get rid of that foolishness within you. Like I said, I am still going through it. My Lord, all the purging <laughs> that I have been through, Kev is still being purged. I believe, I believe that as long as we are alive on this earth, <clears throat> we are always going to be purged until the day we die. Because how else are we going to get right with God? How else? If God did not place me in the many things that he have placed me, there is no way that I would be the way that I am now. No way. I am this way from going through. <laughs> it is funny now, but back then, no. I am this way from going through so much, the purging process. I thought that once you repent and follow God's rules, I guess, that is it. No. The purging process. See, they should really teach this stuff in church. They teach about all that craziness and don't teach about the necessary things that people should know. And I am not saying that I know everything because I don't. I know what I go through and what I have been taught by others. So I pray that this makes sense. Don't fight against the purging process because you are just going to continue to go through it. You can't abolish the purging process. It is impossible. I tried to fight against it so many times where 
so many more bad things would happen. The best thing to do is to give in and let the purging process occur and continue to serve God. That is the best thing to do. Of course, you should pray still, fast, and all that stuff there because that is part of the Persian process as well. Seeking God is part of the Persian process because that is going to help you purge all that sinful qualities out of you. <sighs> My Lord. You know what? I did not plan to teach about this this came to my mind like boom so this message is for someone <laughs> the Persian process so I pray that this makes sense God bless you